Epic. Hello guys, iGamer7 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys everything you need to know about the Dark Below DLC coming to Destiny on December the 9th. So, um, in this video, I'm going to be going over quite a lot of things. So, we also have a 20, 29 kill, I believe, this 29 kill, 6,800 points, uh, Iron Banner Crucible match playing in the background. So, Let's get this started anyway. So for those of you who do know, uh, the Dark Below does come out on December the 9th. Um, the person, the vendor, who will be at the tower will be called Eris. Um, reputation um, is gained among the Guardians who face Kurota. Um, Eris works in the shadows to bring, bring about this end. And as you complete bounties and quests for Eris, you also increase your Kurota's Bane reputation. Um, Moving on, some of the rewards that you do get, we have an Emerald Light, which is a Warlock Bond. Um, we also have a Song of Dust, another one. We have Hunter Cloaks available. Um, more Hunter Cloaks, Titan Marks, so pretty much, you know, shaders, all the other type of stuff that you would usually have. Uh, again, the Glimmer, maximum amount of Glimmer you'll be spending on stuff like that would be 2,500. And uh, moving on, so for those of you who do know, we do have some legendary Willock Bonds as well, and Hunter Cloaks and Titan Marks. Uh, these cannot be purchased though, these you'd actually be able to earn yourself. Um, basically, the overall character is Burn Back These Shadows. A new, ter a new tower character, Eris, has come forth bringing an ominous warning. The Hive seek to summon a god. Crota to destroy the earth. So again, for those you do know, Crota is pretty much the god of the actual evils, I guess you could say. So, for some of the legendary gauntlets, and of course the murmur, for those you do guys who do know, um, just to go over some of the gauntlets, again, they're all legendary, um, coming from Eris as well. Uh, we don't know if it's for sale, but there's, uh, there's only one per class as well. I uh, will leave the link uh, to the, where I get all this information so you guys can go ahead and check out yourself. So the Murmur is a rare, uh, rare fusion rifle rewarded by completing the Awakening, which is a quest uh, for those of you who do not know. Um, it can eventually be upgraded to the legendary version called the Murmur as well, but you need a ruined core to pretty much imbue it. Uh, new legendary material that Eris actually sells. Um, I will talk to you guys about that as well um, in another video, so please stay tuned to that as well. I'll probably upload that today as well. So, moving on, here are some of the bounties that you guys will have to do. So, hidden, there are hidden bounties, uh, which is a pretty, seems like a pretty hard thing, but there are hidden bounties in the game. You have Blade Sakota, where you hunt the knights who serve as Blade Sakota on the earth as well as the moon. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen those guys with Blades and Knights. Uh, we have Bonebreaker, where you kill Hive Wizards with the Shoulder Charge. This is for Titans, as I don't think Warlocks or Hunters have that. Um, cut them down, you have to kill a Hive using a Blade Sword on Earth. So I assume this means that um, some of the knights will be actually dropping their swords and you'll be able to pick it up and start killing them. Uh, cut to the quick, rapidly kill 10 hive with the arc blade, I am pretty sure that is for, um, what is it, hunter classes I believe. Uh, Dead Shore Collector, we have kill hive with precision damage while under the effect of the black wax idol, I'm pretty sure most of you know how to get that so I won't go over that as well. Husk Reaper, you collect Husk Shards by defend by defeating Hive on any destination. Um, we have Illuminator, where you generate 50 Orbs of Light. One of us, we kill Hive Majors and Ultras with any one of the Aeris uh, class items equipped. Sleight of Hand, rapidly kill five, uh, 5 Hive members with your throwing knife, that's most likely for Hunters. Um, the Unseen, while invisible, land the killing blow on a Hive Wizard with a Sniper Rifle. Um, again, that's probably not for Titan classes as well. Um, so moving on, um, some of the missions that we will have. Um, there is the Awakening, which is one of the ways you could get the actual 
Murmur, and you can end up upgrading to the legendary version. Uh, the strike is the Will of Crota, where you have to exterminate the Omnigol and her spawn in the Will of the Crota strike on Earth. The Awakening, by the way, is also on Earth, and the same for the Siege of the Warmind. So now on to the quest that we do have. Um, so the first mission that Eris will introduce to us, she'll give us a first quest. Um, so first off is the Fist of Crota. Uh, you defeat the Fist of Crota leading the spawn in the Cosmodrome. The Hand of Crota where you patrol the Lunar Complex in the Cosmodrome and seek out this servant of the Hand to lure out its master. You also have the Eyes of Crota where you patrol the Terrestrial Complex in the Cosmodrome and then you steal the servant's treasure and lure out of his masters. Um, for the Heart of Crota, you patrol the Refinery in the Cosmodrome and defeat the servant of the Heart and lure its master out. Uh, again, missions, uh, Siege of Warmind as well as the Awakening. Um, so pretty much to get the murmur from it's unconfirmed at the moment but it's a very high possibility that uh, we will need to uh, start this quest event to eventually earn the murmur by completing the awakening which again is a mission um, we also have the extermination um, which is where you use a fusion rifle uh, with arc down to defeat any hive so that might be a way to get it as well you we also have the urn of sacrifice where you purchase the urn of sac <laughs> sacrifice from Zhur uh, Zhur agent of the night for those of you guys who pretty sure do know um, it's pretty much little known about the Urn of Sacrifice, uh, but Zhur will be involved a little bit with the rituals and pretty much the ritual is will be necessary to complete before participating in a raid, I assume. Don't really know all the details on that, but some of the quests that we have gathered in the dust where you have to kill Thrall with the solar damage from a fusion rifle and collect the embers at the drop, gather their faith. Um, and then the quest where you defeat Hive Acolytes and Wizards with Void Damage and collect the Sylvan Hearts. Um, some progression will be lost on death with that one as well. Uh, Gather the Fury where you kill Curse Thrall with your melee attack. Uh, <laughs> death will reset your progress. And for those of you who do know, uh, Curse Thralls are pretty much like Suicide Bombers. That's going to be a pretty hard one. Uh, we also have Gather their Suffering where you kill Urzok, the Hated in Earth Skywatch during public events. Uh, we also have Ritual of the Forsaken, uh, where you take the urn to the moon, and the Ritual of the Forsaken was completed, you return the urn of sacrifice to Zhur. So, probably need some strange coins in order to do this uh, stuff as well. So, I'm pretty sure I covered everything in this one, guys. Um, I will be talking about the actual Murmur, and how to upgrade the Murmur, as, as well as the Necrochasm. Um, Probably, I'm pretty sure it's pretty hard to know, but as soon as I guys tell you. So basically, you can turn the actual Necrochasm from pretty much a rare to a legendary gun using a special part. And then if you turn the actual fusion rifle from nothing to a legendary to then to an exotic. So, again, there will be spoilers in that video, but I will talk to you guys about that later on. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I covered everything guys, um, again the link to where I got all this information below will be talked about, so <clears throat> uh, just click on head over to the link where you can find pretty much all the Destiny news, all the Destiny stuff that you probably most likely need and want to check out guys. So I'm pretty sure to go for everything, <laughs> I might just talk about one more thing uh, since I already talked about the Codis End Raid Armor Gear. Uh, and that's pretty much Eris' is Morn, uh, the swords, and pretty much all that type of stuff for those who didn't watch. So yes, you will have a pretty nice sword when you're fighting in the Eris. And Eris will be located pretty much near where, um, where the Iron Banner people were, where the Queen's Wrath was pretty much in that same area, so it will be locked. And then we also have a hidden person. Um, the shaders also look quite amazing. I have taken a look at them. The screenshots will be in the second link in the, the, the uh, description below. And pretty much the quotas end raid. It's a one-way trip. 
bosses are going to be insane, so you better have your guns ready. Pretty much an exotics, we have Dragon's Breath, Claws of Akrama, uh, we have Hunter Helmets, we also have a Sniper Rifle, No Land Beyond, and of course the Necrochasm. Cannot wait to get that gun. Um, again, Legendaries, we have the Word of Crota, Life of Abyss, uh, Song of Ear Youth, uh, Hunger of Crota, Murmur, which you can end up changing to a Legendary Gun, the Abyss of Defiant, Oversoul, and we also have a Shotgun, but the name is unconfirmed. Uh, Crucible Maps, Pin Pantheon, the first truly symmetrical map, uh, Skyshock, which is complement with infantry zones, uh, vehicles dominating one space, and yeah, you also have another one which is Cauldron, which has unique locations. Uh, See so you guys, don't forget to leave a like below, don't forget to comment, I'm Hygrim7, and I believe I am out. Don't forget to leave a like below, peace. Come, come.